Hi everyone, I'm Doc Ken and welcome to the Living in the IT Era Chapter 4 entitled Classifications and Types of Computer. So what are the learning objectives for this chapter? One is to identify the classifications of computers and to describe the different types of computers. First, let's discuss why computer is so powerful. A computer is a powerful tool because it is able to perform the information processing cycle operations such as input, process, output, and storage with amazing speed, reliability, and accuracy, store huge amounts of data and information, and communicate with other computers. Computers allow users to generate correct information quickly, hold the information so it is available at any time, and share the information with other computer users. The world's fastest computer can perform trillions of operations in one second. The high reliability of computer components enables the computer to produce consistent results. Computers process large amounts of data and generate error-free results, provided the data is inputted correctly and the instructions work properly. Lastly, we are using computer for us to have a medium of communication, connections, and connect other devices, form, information, storage, and instructions. Computers can be classified based on size and computing power. However, as technology advances, these classifications tend to overlap as modern computers have become smaller yet more powerful and relatively cheaper. So what are the classifications of computer? Just remember the acronym PIWO MIMAZU. P stands for personal computer, WO stands for workstation, MI stands for mini computer, MA stands for mainframe, SU stands for supercomputer. First, let's talk about personal computer. Personal computer can be defined as a small, relatively inexpensive computer design for an individual user. It has a monitor, keyboard, and storage devices. A good example of this is a desktop computer. Next, workstation. A workstation is a computer intended for individual use that is faster and more capable than a personal computer. It's intended for business or professional use rather than home or recreational use. This is usually used in businesses for video surveillance monitoring or for CCTV purposes. Third, mini computer. A computer of medium power, more than a microcomputer but less than a mainframe computer. Mini computer is smaller less expensive and less powerful than a mainframe or supercomputer but more expensive and more powerful than a personal computer. Mini computers are used for scientific and engineering computations, business transaction processing, file handling and database management and are often now referred to as a small or mid-sized servers. Fourth, mainframe. Mainframe computer is best platform to execute millions of transactions in every single second. So mainframe computers are used in the large scale organization because they have to need for processing the massive data at once in every second. This computer is usually used by business companies. There are some companies which are used to mainframe computer systems such as Walmart, Coca-Cola, Ford, BMW, Nike, Accenture, and many more. Last classification, supercomputer. One of the world's most powerful supercomputers represents NASA state-of-the-art technology for meeting the agency's supercomputing requirements, enabling NASA scientists and engineers to conduct modeling and simulation for NASA's project. A supercomputer is a leading edge of data processing capability with respect to calculation speed, supercomputer is also used in weather forecasting. The difference between supercomputer and mainframe is that supercomputers are used for scientific and engineering problems 
with high performance computing with crunch numbers and data while mainframe focuses more on transaction processing computers can also be identified in several types these types have been identified due to the introduction of mobile devices and the proliferation of internet capable devices specialized computers are now also classified according to specific uses so what are the types of computers just remember the acronym DELATA SWS DE stands for desktop LA stands for laptop TA stands for tablet S stands for smartphone W stands for wearable S stands for smart TV first let's talk about desktop computer a desktop computer is a personal computer designed for regular use at a single location on or near a desk or table due to its size and power requirements desktop computers are commonly used in household and enterprise as well as in consumer use cases such as gaming second laptop computer laptop computer is a small portable and battery powered computer device small enough that it can sit on your lap nowadays laptop computers are more frequently called notebooks computers one of the biggest advantages of laptops is that they allow students to access information wherever they can get internet connection with more places offering free wi-fi getting an internet connection is easier than ever this accessibility allows students to study whenever they have the time no matter where they are third tablet computers tablet computers are handheld computers it gives you portability ease of use and the ability to easily copy or share your works quickly and easily it may not be your go-to studio but it's a great tool to have your disposal for creative tasks whether it's making music digital painting or creative writing fourth a smartphone a smartphone is a cell phone that allows you to do more than make phone calls and send text messages smartphones can browse the internet and run software programs like a computer smartphones use a touch screen to allow users to interact with them fifth wearables wearable technology provides us with the ability to monitor our fitness levels track our location with gps and view text messages more quickly best of all most of the devices that allow us to do this are hands-free and portable eliminating the need to take our devices out of our pockets a good example of this are smart watches lastly smart tvs smart tvs are latest television sets that include applications present in computers the main benefit of smart tv is to access to a large number of channels that offer tv programs movies and music without the need to connect a tv antenna or subscribe to a cable satellite service also some smart tvs provide web browsing gaming and access to compatible media content stored on your computer